Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak from TheBitcoinPodcast.com, here to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. And today, I'm here to talk about the U.S. State Department. Now, as part of its uh, new initiative based around the importance of blockchain technology, the U.S. State Department is looking for a new intern. That's pretty freaking sweet. Now, I was thinking about applying for the job myself. Fuck that. Uh, basically, this intern is going to be part of a group called the um, uh, Blockchain at State, and it's going to basically determine the usefulness of research applications and open ledger technologies, uh, and you know the um, the usefulness of putting that into U.S. foreign policies. So that's pretty fucking sweet, but way too much responsibility for me. Fuck that job. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking to be an intern. Um, for the US government and do a uh, blockchain gig, this might be for you. Just know that um, there's gonna be a lot of responsibilities. Now the, uh, the group organizations, uh, Blockchain at State, and um, it's gonna be managed by the Global Partnership, or the Office of Global Partnerships, and again, it's going to be to determine the usefulness of um, research applications and open ledger technologies in U.S. foreign policies. Now, the intern is going to be responsible for weekly blockchain reports on the, uh, the blockchain processes and use cases as they develop. Now, besides all that, the intern will be responsible for... Uh, let's see, research development. So you're gonna have to look into every kind of uh, blog, website, government agency, news site. You're gonna basically live and breathe Reddit and white papers all day, every day. It's pretty exciting. Bitcoin. But, um, so yeah, even the, uh, who's next? The general administrations, pro uh, they're doing a um, blockchain program this summer as well for the um, Emerging Citizens Technology Program, which is like aimed to bring a bunch of like organizations together that are brainstorming on artificial intelligence. So that is pretty interesting. I don't know, this is exciting time right now. If you're looking to be an, uh, if you're looking to be an intern for the uh, blockchain at state, I have a link to the article below, which has a link in it to the uh, application process. Now for me personally, no thank you. Too much responsibility. I mean, this is global. So the intern is gonna be responsible. Whew, excuse me. The intern is gonna be responsible for communicating with stakeholders all around the world. I don't think I want that responsibility. So I don't really want that responsibility, but if you do, this might be the job for you. I think it's pretty cool that government agencies are getting into this, like the US State Department, the uh, general administrations, um, everybody that, you know, all the government organizations that are starting blockchain programs really just keep solid, like, proof that blockchain technology isn't going anywhere. It's here to stay. And I think that's amazing. Uh, another thing I'd like to touch on is uh, Western Union. Uh, they're using block, or no, they're uh, teaming up with Coinbase. They're not going to use blockchain technology on their platform, uh, at least not till more regulation gets put in place. So once we get more regulation in the blockchain industry, you can see Western Union incorporate Bitcoin or Ethereum or cryptocurrencies into their platform. But uh, basically, all this means is that. Coinbase is going to have a uh, plug-in for Western Union, sort of similar to how it does for PayPal. So you could get somebody to Western Union you money, it'll end up on your Coinbase account as USD, and then from there you could go ahead and purchase your cryptocurrencies from the wallet of Western Union, just like you do with PayPal. That's pretty sweet. Let's see, what else is going on? Whew, got a lot going on right now in the news. I don't want to talk about the soft fork being a hard fork or whatever. Everyone's arguing about that right now. I already did my piece on the user activated soft fork and uh, I'm excited for August 1st. All these cryptocurrencies right now are booming. 
blockchain technology as a whole is booming. And like I said, all these government agencies getting involved is just making it more and more like serious. Like blockchain technology is here to stay. So I don't see it going anywhere. I, <laughs> I wish I could do that, this internship. <laughs> Basically just doing research on blogs and Reddit, you know, reading white papers and then rewording them for government officials to read. It's pretty damn cool. But when I see the word intern, I don't think very well paid. <laughs> so I don't know, man. Sounds like a lot of work for an intern and not an employee. But who knows? I'm curious. What do you guys think about this? Anybody, anyone, any of my viewers going to apply for this internship with the US State Department for the uh, blockchain at state organization that will be, uh, that's gonna be managed by the Office of Global Partnerships where you're gonna have to do all this research and communicate with gl global stakeholders in the organization. Where you're gonna have to explain to these people updates in blockchain, blockchain processes and the updates in the use cases for blockchain technology. And then you have to sit there and explain how, <laughs> how open ledger technology and, and all this blockchain technology and the research applications are useful for the uh, U.S. foreign policies and I mean seriously this just sounds like a lot of work I'm interested though I keep thinking about applying for the gig <laughs> uh, I could quit my job and go work for the U.S. State Department but like I said, that sounds like a lot of responsibility. I'm not into all that. All right, guys, well, I'm here. I just wanted to do this little walk and talk on my way to the gym. I'm gonna upload this right away to YouTube. I just read the article on uh, Cointelegraph about this job opening or the internship opening, so I thought I'd uh, upload a video about it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys.